when Matthew is talking to Claire at the, I think it's at the dining room table and making a case for selling Claire's painkiller. There's a million ways that she could respond to a pitch like that. But the line that you give back to him is why do you think my drug's going to bring in so much more money? Why did that particular response feel right for her in that moment for you? Because I think she's still wrestling with who she is supposed to be versus who she is versus what she's, you know, there's so many variables going on that it's like, how do you think that I could be this evil monster? How do you look at me and think that, you know, there's a difference between what you think of yourself versus what everybody thinks of you or what someone else thinks of you and what you're capable of too. It's terrifying that he's suggesting that she's capable of doing something like this. And I think once she realizes that she is, um, that's, that's also utterly terrifying. Okay, so then then the next moment, because at the end of that scene, she kind of like closes the door to, you know, in a sense for the moment at least, where she says she can't because she'll be no better than her dad. But then in the next scene, specifically when he explains what it felt like, that's what makes her reconsider. So what's specifically about him using that kind of as ammunition to further this plan along changed things in her mind? Is it the encouragement that it could actually bring in the money and help her brother? Or is there actual like personal excitement that what she created works that well? I mean, I think she obviously is someone that gets off on doing really good work. And that has been her entire life. I think that combined with saving her brother, like the cocktail of those two things, uh, she'll do anything to do that. So that's like a no brainer. I mean, when you love someone, that's what was so interesting to me about this show and the way that Andrew presented it to me was, you know, it, it really is sort of a part of what was so important to him to convey was that it was a larger metaphor for battling addiction and what you, what lengths you'll go to, to protect and save and, keep happy and keep alive the people that you love that are struggling. And, and I think that that decision that she makes is like, obviously there's, n there's not one truer love that she's had in her life than her little brother. And that as like the driving force behind everything she's doing. And I think behind everybody in the show is doing is in these little families that we have is, is so beautiful. And also what the movie really is about. All right, I'll end my episode five interrogation with this one. So uh, at the end of that conversation outside, she, she repeats, I can't become my father, and then says that if I do this, I won't sit idly by. In that particular moment at that time, what does she think she'll do differently than her father so that the operation is better and maybe so that she could sleep easier at night? I think it's so beyond her that she doesn't even know. I think it's like she knows that she has a huge job to do. She doesn't know exactly how it's going to happen, but she's spent her whole life right, like trying to right the wrongs of her dad and to not be her dad. And then suddenly she is becoming her dad. I think that I don't, I don't think that she has a like master plan either way. I think that she's like, fuck, on her toes, just like on the edge of her life, you know, like constantly every second is is making these life or death decisions in the matter of minutes. And it's all coming at her so fast. And I think that she has no choice. Yeah.